Ancient Egypt was a civilization steeped in mythology, spirituality, and a profound understanding of the cosmos. Among the pantheon of Egyptian gods, Thoth, the god of writing, knowledge, and wisdom, held a unique and esteemed position. Today, we'll delve into the enigmatic world of Thoth, exploring his role in ancient Egyptian religion, the mysteries surrounding his divine wisdom, and the enduring legacy of his teachings. Hello and welcome to life's biggest questions. Let's dive on in. Thoth, known to the ancient Greeks as Hermes Trismegistus, was revered as the divine scribe and inventor of writing, whose wisdom and teachings were believed to have been passed down to humanity. As the patron god of scribes, Thoth was often depicted as an ibis-headed man, or sometimes as a baboon holding a writing palette and stylus. These animals were sacred to the Egyptians, as they believed that the ibis represented wisdom and the baboon represented the intellect. Thoth's role in ancient Egyptian religion extended beyond his association with writing and knowledge. He was also the god of measurement, responsible for calculating time and marking the passage of the seasons. As the god of the moon, Thoth was thought to control the lunar cycles which were essential for determining the agricultural calendar and religious festivals. In the realm of magic, Thoth was considered the master of spells, enchantments and divine incantations. His magical powers were believed to be so great that he could even create and destroy deities at will. Thoth was also credited with inventing the disciplines of science, medicine and mathematics, further solidifying his status as a figure of immense wisdom and knowledge. As the divine arbitrator, Thoth was believed to have played a crucial role in maintaining Ma'at, the ancient Egyptian concept of balance, truth and order. He was thought to have been present at the judgment of the dead, where he would record the deeds of the deceased and report them to Osiris, the god of the underworld. Thoth's involvement in the afterlife further highlights his importance in the spiritual and cosmic realms of ancient Egyptian society. Thoth's influence was not limited to Egypt, as he was also venerated in other ancient cultures, such as the Greeks and Romans, who equated him with their own gods of knowledge and wisdom, Hermes and Mercury, respectively. This enduring legacy of Thoth's wisdom and teachings has continued to captivate the imaginations of scholars, mystics and seekers of truth throughout history. One of the most fascinating aspects of Thoth's legacy is the legendary Book of Thoth, a sacred text said to contain the secrets of the universe and the key to divine wisdom. The book was believed to be a compendium of ancient Egyptian knowledge, containing not only the secrets of magic and the mysteries of the cosmos, but also the wisdom and understanding necessary to achieve spiritual enlightenment and mastery over the material world. Although no physical copy of the book has ever been found, it was widely believed to hold powerful spells and magical knowledge that could grant its possessor immense power and understanding. Some ancient accounts describe the book as being composed of 42 scrolls, each containing sacred texts and spells that covered various aspects of life, from healing and protection to the invocation of the gods and the secrets of immortality. The legend of the Book of Thoth is intricately linked to the story of the Egyptian prince Nefakaptar, who is said to have discovered the book hidden in the depths of the Nile River. Nefakaptar was warned that the knowledge contained within the book was forbidden to mortals, but his curiosity led him to study its secrets, ultimately bringing tragedy upon himself and his family. This tale serves as a cautionary reminder of the potential dangers of seeking forbidden knowledge and the responsibilities that come with the acquisition of great power. Some scholars suggest that the Book of Thoth may have been a collection of ancient Egyptian texts or a metaphor for the accumulated wisdom of the ages. Others believe that the book is a lost artifact waiting to be discovered and reveal its secrets to humanity once again. The search for the Book of Thoth has captivated the imaginations of archaeologists, historians and mystics alike, all seeking to unravel the mysteries of this legendary artifact. The concept of the Book of Thoth has also had a profound influence on the Western esoteric tradition, with many secret societies and occult practitioners incorporating the teachings and symbolism of Thoth into their own practices and beliefs. From the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn to the modern-day practices of ceremonial magic, the quest for the wisdom and power contained within the Book of Thoth remains a central theme in the pursuit of spiritual and intellectual advancement. The emerald tablets attributed to Thoth or Hermes Trismegistus are another mysterious aspect of Thoth's legacy. 
These tablets are believed to be a series of ancient texts written in cryptic language that contain profound wisdom, alchemical knowledge, and universal laws. Some accounts describe the tablets as being made of emerald, a symbol of wisdom and transformation, while others suggest that they were crafted from a substance more akin to glass or crystal. The origin of the emerald tablets remains shrouded in mystery. While some sources attribute their authorship to Thoth himself, others believe they were written by an unknown sage or spiritual master who was deeply connected with the mysteries of the cosmos. Despite their uncertain origins, the tablets have had a significant impact on Western esoteric traditions, including Hermeticism, Gnosticism and Alchemy. The wisdom contained within the Emerald Tablets is said to reveal the secrets of transmutation, the nature of reality and the path to spiritual ascension. The texts are divided into 13 chapters, each covering a specific aspect of spiritual and physical existence. Among the most famous teachings found in the tablets is the concept of as above, so below, which suggests that the microcosm of the individual and the macrocosm of the universe are intimately connected and governed by the same laws and principles. The Emerald Tablets have also influenced the development of Western alchemy, with many alchemists throughout history claiming to have drawn inspiration and knowledge from the texts. The concepts of transmutation, the Philosopher's Stone, and the Elixir of Life can all be traced back to the teachings of the Emerald Tablets, which have continued to inspire spiritual seekers and alchemists for centuries. In modern times, the Emerald Tablets have gained renewed interest among researchers and spiritual seekers who are drawn to their enigmatic wisdom and the potential insights they hold for understanding the nature of reality, consciousness, and the mysteries of existence. Translations and interpretations of the tablets can be found in numerous books and online resources, allowing individuals to study and explore the teachings of thought and the ancient wisdom they embody. As we continue to delve into the mysteries of the emerald tablets, we are reminded of the timeless appeal of ancient wisdom and the enduring quest to understand the secrets of the universe, which have captivated the human imagination for millennia. According to ancient Egyptian mythology, Thoth was responsible for maintaining the Hall of Records, a hidden chamber containing the collective knowledge and history of humanity. This mythical repository is believed to be hidden somewhere beneath the Sphinx or within the Great Pyramid of Giza, waiting to be discovered and reveal the secrets of the ages. The Hall of Records, sometimes referred to as the Akashic Records, is thought to be a vast library of information and wisdom that spans the entirety of human history. It is said to contain detailed accounts of the rise and fall of civilizations, the lives of great leaders and spiritual masters, as well as the secrets of advanced technologies and spiritual practices from the distant past. In essence, the Hall of Records is believed to be a storehouse of humanity's collective memory and the key to unlocking the mysteries of our ancient past. While the existence of the Hall of Records remains a subject of speculation and debate, the concept has captured the imagination of scholars, archaeologists and spiritual seekers alike. Many theories have been proposed regarding the location of the Hall of Records, with some suggesting that it may be hidden deep within the Earth or even located on another plane of existence, accessible only through spiritual means or altered states of consciousness. The search for the Hall of Records continues to inspire countless theories and expeditions as we seek to unlock the mysteries of the ancient world and rediscover the wisdom of the ages. Some notable researchers, such as Edgar Cayce, the famous American psychic and mystic, have claimed to have accessed the Hall of Records through psychic means, providing tantalizing glimpses into the potential knowledge and secrets that may be contained within. The quest to find the Hall of Records has also led to numerous archaeological discoveries and advancements in our understanding of ancient Egyptian history, as researchers continue to explore the hidden chambers and passageways of the Great Pyramid and the Sphinx. Whether or not the Hall of Records is ever found, the search for this mythical repository serves as a testament to the enduring allure of ancient wisdom and our relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding. As we continue to explore the depths of human history and the mysteries of the cosmos, the figure of Thoth and the legend of the Hall of Records serve as powerful reminders that our past holds valuable lessons and insights that can help guide us on our journey to uncover the truths of our existence and the boundless potential of human understanding. 
I hope you enjoyed our video today. Please let us know any suggestions and ideas down below. Oh, 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 oh,